What's going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going over fitness myths because I get asked about these on a ridiculous basis and I honestly see a lot of these fitness myths that are out there that's been around forever stop a lot of people in their tracks in, in terms of their, their progress and what they're trying to do in losing fat and getting healthy and whatnot. Um, and there's a lot of them, you know, so today we're going to debunk some of these and so hopefully I'll be able to help you guys out. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, be sure and click the subs subscribe button wherever it's at around here. Um, so yeah, let me know if you got any questions after this is over, but let's get right to it. Gives me an excuse to use one of my mini whiteboards because I'm obsessed with these things. All right, first one, boom, diet pills. We all know about them. You know, you can't, you can't go to the store, you can't, you know, watch TV, you can't even re on the radio hear about, oh, the new newest, latest version of HydroxyCut, or whoo, the newest, latest, greatest, blah, 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 blah. Every company seems to have a, have a diet pill or a fat burner pill. But what's the deal with these? Do they actually work? Um, here's the thing. The supplement industry is an amazing thing. There's a lot of great products out there, but there are also a lot of products that are full of bullshit. And the diet pill area is one of them. No pill literally melts your fat away. That literally doesn't happen because the thing is, think about it this way. If there was a pill out there that you could go buy at GNC or online and it magically melted all your fat away and you had the sculpted lean defined body that you wanted that you've always been dying to have because you just took one pill, um, we would know about it. That's the thing. We know, like, so let's talk about steroids. Steroids, we know work. We also know about all the side effects that can come with steroids or pro hormones, these crazier level things. So the same thing is, I mean, when it comes to diet pills, if there was a diet pill that worked, um, one, your kidneys and liver would be trashed, and two is we would all know about it, and shoot, I would be the first one to buy it. If there was a magic pill I could literally take and you know instantly be shredded and um, stuff like that, I would literally be the biggest customer and promoter of it. But the thing is, there's that doesn't exist. Um, even if you grab a bottle of fat burners or uh, diet pills, it'll tell you on there, there's a little disclaimer on the label that says, oh, this should be accompanied by a, you know, calorie eating in a calorie deficit or a healthy diet and with a strength training cardio regimen. If you just do all that shit anyway, you're going to lose all the fat in the world you want. There is no diet pill that is an end-all be-all. No matter what you do, you have to be doing all the other stuff, eating a calorie deficit, strength train. Um, and be consistent you know that's it's like your normal stuff a diet pill doesn't magically fix anything okay so moving right along more whiteboard there we go weights equal big and bulky um, I hear this one more from women than men but there are some men I hear this from um, that say hey I just kind of want to be sculpted and defined and lean I don't really want to get big and bulky and huge and whatnot I want to be big bulky and huge that's what I'm working on um, but most people don't want to be big, bulky, and huge. Here's the thing. Lifting weights and strength training is only one piece of the puzzle in terms of getting big and bulky. Uh, man or woman. But let's talk about the woman side real quick. Because it's hard in general to get big and bulky. It takes time. It takes a lot of consistent effort. And it's more on the eating side than anything. Um, that's for anyone, man or woman. But here's the thing with women. You, you ladies don't have the, the same testosterone levels that I have and just men in general have. Uh, you know, that's that's a huge factor. You know, I could put a man and a woman do the exact same program and the guy will gain physically more muscle mass than the woman will. But one of the many facts is because of hormones. Your our, The hormone profiles are totally different. And for women, it's so hard to get big and, big and bulky. Um, I even have women bodybuilders that I coach online who are trying to get big and bulky and I have these girls eating like 4,000 calories a day and they're just now starting to, to get, get some size and they're hitting the gym like you know five, six days a week. That's the thing is when it comes to all this stuff, it's more on the nutrition side. Lifting weights do not get you big and bulky. Write this down. Lifting weights do not get you big and bulky. Eating in a calorie surplus makes you big and bulky. Okay. In the same way, the only way to lose fat is you have to physically take in less calories than what your body burns, a calorie deficit. The only way to lose, or I'm sorry, to gain weight and get big and bulky is eating a calorie surplus, eating more calories than what your body burns. So, um, yeah, hope that clears some of that, those two up moving right along. All right, this is a big one. Boom. Out working a bad diet. Can't be done. 
cannot be done unless you are like Michael Phelps. You know, so many people, they think, oh, I were, I, I, I'm a waitress, I'm a nurse, I'm a construction worker, an active job, very active job. I'm on my feet all day. I go to the gym. I just, I don't need to worry about counting my, my, my calories. I don't need to worry about the food because I'll just, I just burn all that off. Well, my question is, how's that going for you? You know, that's the thing is, um, in, literally, unless, in a, unless you're in a few specific rare cases, like you're an Olympic level athlete, or you just have a ridiculous metabolism, um, you can't outwork a bad diet. I see so many people that use that philosophy. They're like, oh, I'll burn it off later. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. Um, that's why it's so important to be aware of what you're taking in. This is why self-awareness is one of the biggest keys to your fitness results, whether fat loss, gaining muscle, getting healthy, whatever. Being just self-aware of what you're good at, what you're bad at, but what it takes for your body to function how many calories and nutrients it takes to run your body so you can therefore move on and either eat above that, below that, right at that, you know, things like that. Self-awareness is key. It's humongous. So that's why um, not working a bad diet doesn't ever work because chances are, I mean, what I see most of the time is, you know, someone who says, oh, I can, I just work it off, blah, 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 blah. Usually, one, they're unsatisfied with their fitness results. They're overweight generally because they're not outworking that bad diet. Because think think about it this way. Let's say you you're not really you don't really, you have a mediocre diet that you, you know, it's full, it's it's you know, you eat let's say 4 or 5000 calories a day. You know, if you eat out, if you go to fast food twice a day, you're easily hitting, you know, 4 or 5000 calories. You know, going out a couple times, eating out, you know, fast food a couple times a day, um you know, having some uh, you know, chips and ice cream a, a day and a couple times this stuff, you know, that's all that builds up, you may be literally eating four to 5,000 calories a day with a very little protein intake. And then thinking you're gonna go burn, you know, more than that off, you know, in your daily life in the gym, that's probably not gonna happen. That's kind of like one of those, like I've talked about before, these extreme systems, you don't wanna do that. I mean, honestly, if you're burning 5,000 calories a day, you're probably overworking yourself or you're spending hours in the gym, which is not healthy either. I know people who try to spend two hours a day in the gym, seven days a week, and eat like shit all week and don't care and just go gorge themselves and they're still overweight because if you break it down you are not you know your balance isn't right this you're still taking in more than what your body burns that's why it's so important to be aware of what you're taking in and then monitor everything there there is no one size fits all program or formula because your cal because your um because your daily needs change but you can get a damn good estimate where if you're like oh generally I float between you know, my body burns 24 to 2600 calories kind of in there, then you know, if you take in 3000, you're going to be storing fat like a motherfucker. That's just how it works. Versus, you know, if, if you know that your, your maintenance calories are somewhere around 2500, like we talked about 24, 2600, and then you, you know, eat a solid 2000, 2100 every day, boom, you lose all the fat in the world you want. Because then it just takes time and consistency from there on. So, you know, that's just how the system works. So, um, hope that helps give you guys clear up some of the, the misconceptions with diet pills, getting big and bulky by lifting weights, and outwork, outworking a bad diet. So if there's any other fitness myths you guys have questions about or want me to address, by all means, throw them in the comments, send me a message, whatever. Um, be sure to subscribe, like I said, if you haven't done so already, and I will talk to you soon.